Hi everybody, my name is Yet, and today we are going to read Bridge to Terabithia. But actually, it's from uh, uh, it's chapter five, thirty six to thirty eight. Let's begin. Uh, but before starting, yesterday I recorded pages thirty four to thirty five in Bridge to Terabithia chapter five. Okay, now let's begin. Then we'll name his prince Terian and make him the guardian of Terabithia. She put the puppy down and got to her feet. Where are you going? To the, gro- uh, to the grove of the pines, she answered. This is a time of greatest joy. Later that afternoon, Leslie gave Jess his present. It was a box of watercolors with 24 tubs of color and three brushes and a pad of heavy art paper. Lord, he said. Thank you. He tried to think. For, uh, he tried to think for a better way to say it, but he couldn't. Thank you. Uh, but he couldn't. Thank you. He repeated. It's not a great present like yours, she said humbly, but I hope you like it. He wanted to tell her how proud and good she uh, she made him feel. That the rest of Christmas didn't matter because the day had been so good. But the words he needed weren't there. Oh, yeah, yeah, he said, and then got up on his knees and began to bark at Prince Tyrion. The puppy uh, raced around him in circles, yelping with delight. Leslie began to laugh. <laughs> it egged Jess on. Everything the dog did, he me- uh, he meted it flopping down at last with his tongue, lolling out. Leslie was laughing so hard she had trouble getting the words out. You, you're crazy. How will we te- uh, How will we teach him to be a, no- a noble garden? Garden, you're turning him into a clown. R- roof, wailed Prince uh, Prince Tern, rolling his eyes skyward. Jess and Leslie both collapsed. They were in a uh, they were in pain from the laughter. Maybe said Leslie at last. We'd better make him. Uh, we uh, we'd better came him court jester. What about his name? Oh, well, let him keep his name. Even a prince. This is, uh, this in her most Terabithia voice. Even a prince may be a fool. That night of glow of the afternoon stayed with him. Even his sister uh, squabbling about when prince, uh, when presents were to be opened did not touch him. He helped Mabel wrap her uh, little gifts and even sang. Santa Claus is coming to town with her and Joyce Ann. Then Joyce and cried because they had no fireplace and Santa wouldn't be able to find a way. And Joyce and cried because they had no. Uh, suddenly he felt sorry for her going to uh, going to Millsburg Plaza and seeing all those things and hoping that some guy in a red suit would give her, her uh, give her all her dreams. Mabel at six was already too wise. She was just hoping for that stupid Barbie. He was glad he'd so, uh, spill, uh, spilled on it. Joyce Ann, uh, Joyce Ann would, uh, wouldn't care that he only had a hair clip for her. She would blame Santa, not him, for being cheap. He put his arm awkwardly around Joyce Ann. Come on, Joyce Ann, don't cry. Old Santa knows the way. He don't need a chimney, does he, Mabel? Mabel was watching him with her big, solemn eyes. Just gave her a knowing wink over Joyce Ann's head. It melted her. N- uh, now, Joyce Ann, he know the w- uh, he know the way. He knows everything. She, sc- she scrunched up her uh, right cheek in a vain effort to return his wink. She was a good kid. He really liked old Mabel. The next morning, he helped her dress and undress her Barbie at, la- uh, at least 30 times, slithering the skinny dress over the doll's head and arms and snapping the t- uh, the tiny fasten- uh, fasteners was more than her cubby six years old fingers could manage. He had received a racing car set, which he tried to run to place his father. 
it wasn't it wasn't uh, it wasn't one of those big sets that they uh, advert uh, advertised on TV but it was electric and he knew his dad had put more money into it than he should have but but the silly cars kept falling off at the curves until his father was cursing at them with impatience just wanted to be okay he wanted so much for his dad to be proud of his present the way he just had been proud of the puppy it's really great really i just uh, i just ain't got the hang of it yet his face was red and he kept shoving his hair back out of his eyes as he leaned over the plastic figure eight track Cheap junk, cheap junk, his father kicked uh, at the floor uh, dangerously near the track. Don't get nothing for the, your money just uh, these days. Joyce Ann was lying on her bed, screaming because she had yanked the string out of her talking doll and it was no longer talking. Brenda had her lips stuck out because Ellie had gotten a pair of penthouse hose in her Christmas stocking and she had only bobby socks. Ellie wasn't helping matters, prancing around in her new house, making a big show of helping Mama with the ham and sweet potatoes for dinner. Lord, some, uh, sometimes Ellie was as snotty as, uh, snotty as Wanda K. Moore. Just Oliver Arns, Jr., if you can stop playing with those fool bars long enough to milk the cow, I'd be most appreciative. Miss Bessie, don't, uh, don't take no holiday, even if you do. Just jumped out. Uh, j- just jumped up. Please, uh, please, for an excuse to leave the track, which she couldn't make work to his dad's satisfaction. His mother seemed not to notice the pro, uh, the uh, the promptness of his re- uh, response, but went uh, on in a complaining voice. I don't know what I do without Ellie. She's the only one of who uh, uh, of who kids ever cares w- uh, whether I li- whether I live or die. Ellie smiled like a plastic angel, first at Jess and then at Brenda, who glared back. Leslie must have been watching for him because as soon as he started across the yard, he could see her running out of the old Perkins place. The puppy half tripping her as it chased circles around her. They met at Miss, uh, Miss, uh, Miss Bessie's shed. I thought you'd never come out this morning. Yeah, well, Christmas, you know. Prince Theron began to snap at Miss Bessie's shoes. She stamped in any uh, in uh, in anno, uh, in anno, uh, in annoyance. Leslie picked him up. So just could uh, so just could milk the puppy, skirmed and licked, making it almost impossible for her to take. To talk, she giggled happily. Bum dog, she said proudly. Yeah, it felt like Christmas again. Uh, um, seven. The gold room. Now, uh, now I'm going to start chapter seven, but only the first page. Chapter seven. The golden room. Mister Burke had begun to uh, repair the old Perkins place after Christmas. Mr. Burke was right in the middle of writing a book, so she wasn't available to help, which left Leslie the job of, run, uh, of hunting and fetching for all his smartness with politics and music. M- uh, Muir, Burke was in, uh, Muir Burks was intelled uh, to be absent-minded. He would put down the, ha- the hammer to pick up the how-to book and then lose the hammer between there and the project he was working on. Leslie was good at finding things of him for him, and he liked that company uh, that company as well. When she came home from school and on the weekends he wanted her around. Leslie explained all these to Leslie. The, uh, the weekends he wanted her around. Leslie explained all these to Jess. Just tried again, uh, going to Travithia alone, but it was no good. It needed Leslie to make the magic. He was afraid. 
he would destroy everything by trying to force the magic on his own when it was plain that the magic was reluctant to come for him. If he, if he went home, either his mother was after him to do some chore or, many, or Mabel wanted him to play Barbie. Lord, he wished a million times he'd never help buy that stupid doll. He'd no more th- he'd no more than lie down on the floor or paint than uh, than Mabel would be after him to put and smack down, uh, to put an arm back on or snap up a dress. Joyce Ann was worse. She got a devilish delight w- uh, out of setting smack down on her drum when he was scourged out working. If he yelled at her to get the uh, heck off him. She'd stick her index finger in the corner of her mouth and holler, which would, of course, crank up his mother. Jess, Oliver, you leave that baby alone. Watch a mean lying there. Watch a mean lying there in the middle of the floor doing nothing. Anyway, didn't I tell you I could uh, I couldn't cook supper before you chop uh, before you chop wood for the stove. Before he chopped wood from the stove, sometimes he would sneak down to the old Perkins place and find Prince Theron crying on the porch, where Mr. Burke had exiled him. You couldn't blame the man. No one could. Uh, no one could get anything done with that animal grabbing his hand or jumping up to lick his face. He'd take. Uh, he'd take. Uh, he'd take P.T. for a romp in the Perkins upper field. If it was a it w- uh, if it was a mill day, Miss Bessie would be mooning nervously from across the fence. She couldn't seem to g- uh, to get used to the uh, y- uh, yipping and snapping, or maybe it was the time of year the last dregs of winter spoil uh, spoiling the taste of very thing nobody human or animal seemed happy except Leslie. She was crazy about fixing up that broken down old wreck of a house. She loved being needed by her father half the time. They were supposed to be working. They were just yakking away. She was learning. She related, grown, uh, she related uh, uh, glowingly at dresses to understand her father. It had never occurred to Jess that parent uh, that parents were meant to be understood any more than the safe at the Millsburg First Nation National Way, sitting around being, uh, uh, beginning him to crack it. Some t- uh, some things weird about a gro- uh, a grown man want, uh, wanting to be friends with his own child. He ought to have friends his own age and let her v- have hers. Jess's feelings about Lazzie's father poked up like a cankering sore. You keep biting it, and it gets bigger and worse instead of better. You spend a lot of time trying to keep your teeth away from it. Then sure as Christmas, you forgot the silly thing and chomp right down on it. Lord, their bum- uh, uh, that man go- uh, got in his way. It even poisoned what time he did have with Leslie. She'd be sitting there bubbling away to uh, actresses, and it would be almost like the, uh, the old times. Then without warning, she'd say, Bill, th- uh, Bill thinks so and so. Chomp right down on the old sore. Now, uh, guys, uh, uh, today um, I finished uh, pages 36 to 38 chapter, uh, but uh, actually I just read one page from 37, uh, from uh, uh, chapter 7. So one page from uh, chapter uh, 6 and one page from chapter 7. Okay, um, th- thank you for watching and please before I say goodbye, please subscribe and put a like uh, 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 below and write a comment please. Now, goodbye, see you next time.